Do you have some challenge in your life now? Do you feel a little frustrated and sad? Are you lost? You don't know how to handle all those? So recently I heard a story. I think it's very uh, inspiring. I hope this story can help you to find your way out of your current challenge, your current problems and difficulties. Hello everyone, this is Jessica. In this channel, I share my self-development tips and experience. Hope you will learn something useful. One day, a young man came to see Buddha. He was very upset. He asked Buddha, Please tell me that why I suffer a lot. I can't bear the sorrow of my life and my loved ones. Please tell me what to do. Buddha looked at the man with compassion and said, Do you have a son? Young man replied, Yes, I do. Buddha asked, Does your brother have a son? Young man replied, Yes, he does. Buddha asked, Do your neighbors have a son? Young man replied, Yes, they do. The Buddha asked, Do the persons not known to you personally have sons? Young man replied, Yes, a lot of people have. Buddha said, Well, then tell me if your son dies, how sad will you be? The young man paused for a while and he looked very sad and he replied Lord, I would feel incredibly sad I would not be able to bear that news I would feel that my entire world has collapsed I can't even imagine that situation Buddha again said If your brother's son died what would you feel? Young man think a little bit and replied, Sir, I would feel extremely sad, but not to the extent if my own son dies. Buddha said, If your neighbor's son dies, how sad will you feel? Young man replied immediately, Lord, I would feel some sad, but not to the extent if my brother's son dies. Buddha again said, If the son of a person dies who is known to you, how sad will you feel? Young man said, I will not feel any sadness. Then Buddha asked, Then the extent of the sadness is relative to your own what? After thinking for a moment, the young man answered, Lord, I think I got it. The level of sadness is relative to me or mine. The more I hold something as my own, the more I will be sad. Buddha said, It means you get sorrow from those who you have attachment, who you consider yours. Man said, Yes, that is right. Buddha said, Very well. Now you understand that the root of your sorrow is attachment. If you do not see the truth as it is, you will keep on suffering like this in endless world. After listening to these words from Buddha, the man came to understand it, that the real cause of his suffering is attachment. So what does this story tell us? Like a lot of us will feel happy and will feel power if we can control something or control one person or something, some event, go to the direction we want it to happen. So for example, if you are starting a business, but in the process, uh, suddenly you find your business idea has been taken by someone else. So that will be the time you find out you lost the control for something. And that will be the time we feel unhappy, frustrated, and sad. So any time when we face those difficulties, we feel those challenges, the thing is we need to ask ourselves, 
Is this something we can control? Is this something I can change? And if you cannot, let it go. We can lead a happy life only by fulfilling our responsibilities. Well, without being attached to it. This story taught us a beautiful lesson about non-attachment. We suffer because we attach ourselves to external things, which in reality are not ours and are beyond our control. If we want to live a happy life, then we will have to practice non-attachment, detachment. Only then we shall be able to live a happy and peaceful life. Therefore, always remember that the less attached you are, the more peaceful you will be. If you feel you learn a lot from my video, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Okay, see you next time. Bye.